hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so now in this tutorial what we are going to do is that is we will whenever the user click on this sign up button then we will uh, get the input from a user i mean the first name last name and the email address from this text boxes and once we get that then we will uh, send the data i mean the uh, all these user information to the next form which we will create now i mean in this tutorial but first of all uh, come here to the uh, visual studio and now we have created this form and also we have performed uh, some functionalities on our checkboxes now the next thing is uh, the sign up button okay so here you can see we have this btn sign up underscore click so from the checkboxes we are going to uh, get the first name first okay so this is the first name uh, name i mean these names if i show you okay by using these their names for all these text boxes so here we can set text and we have to assign the first name to this f name uh, static variable sorry for that here we can simply write it manually which is our f name equals to this and make sure to put a semicolon here let's copy paste this for the time saving i mean for the last name and for the email address so here we can say uh, l name which is our last name and the name of the text field is text the last name and for the email address we have uh, email address and the name of that is txt email address so yeah that's it now we are going to create another form okay so click here on our this app name which is vpf2 then here you can see this add click here and here you can see this windows form if this option is not available uh, here then also you can add this windows form by clicking on this new item and this will uh, show you this uh, window you can simply click here and here you can see this windows form then from here you can uh, give name to your form so the name of our form is confirmation form click add and here you can see our confirmation.cs form is created successfully now let's uh, add the elements i mean the controllers so go to the toolbox and we need to display the name first so instead of uh, doing it from here what i'm going to do is go to the design let's uh, copy this i mean uh, the first name okay copy this and paste that here so this will be our first name and we can change the text size of this to 9 will be good okay so first name and also let's copy this and paste that again and here at the top we can say that is uh, you can write anything you want i will simply write thanks for uh, sign up we will be in touch soon and then you can display the user information here so this is the first this will be the first name let's copy paste this in front of that we will display the name from the previous form which is our sign up form so i will simply write the you can write your name okay and then copy this and first let's move it here now let's copy paste this for this one will be for the last name so here we can say last name and then let's copy paste this for the address this one will be our email okay and you can change the text to it but we will also i mean we will retrieve the data and you will display it here so if you want to change then you can simply write uh, your email and then here we can say 
your last name and let's copy this, this for the services so here we can say services in let's say services you choose and then we will display those services so come here to the sign up form design and let's copy this select first all of these three and now come here and here we can simply pass that and yeah now in front of this we have to uh, display the tick cross that is which services he select so by default here we can uh, display the cross sign which is x okay which is this one and then copy paste this first select this and now here we can also in front of that we can and also in front of transaction reports so yeah this is amazing now let's assign uh, names to our this levels okay so here we can say lvl f name which is first name and this one is lvl last name l name which means last name so first name last name and then email address so here we can say lbl email address and uh, here basically we need here to uh, i mean just simple levels okay there here we do not need this uh, check boxes so remove this check boxes from here and instead of that uh, we can just display directly the uh, I mean the uh, names here so we can say SMS notifications and if you want then you can you know, decrease the size for these things so this will be our SMS notification then copy paste this and this one will be our also let's copy paste this again so that we can so this one will be for the transaction reports and this one is for the just reports now let's move it little bit closer so that the design can look beautiful so yeah and now we have to assign uh, our names to these labels also so this one will be our LBL SMS and this one LBL reports and this one will be LBL transactions and now go to the signup.cs and here uh, once the user uh, once we get these uh, first name last name and email what we gonna do is first let create an object of our, this new form which is confirmation and we can give it name as c equals to new confirmation and then by using this uh, C object we can send the user to the other form which is our confirmation form so here we can say C dot show and now let's run the app to see if it is working or not so you can see that okay so here uh, let's say I'm going to write my name Mohammed Ali and then email address let's say 
and then here you can choose I mean these things also so if whenever the user click on the sign up form then it should send us to the new form which is our confirmation form okay so here you can see it is uh, for now it just displaying the default values which are these ones so now in the next video tutorial what we'll be doing is that we will uh, basically pass this data which is uh, Mohammed I mean the first name last name and email address on all these uh, check boxes will use from this sign up form to this confirmation form so yeah and then we will display it here on this field so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel and give a thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now